You know, we love to laugh, we love great food, but I think what I enjoy most is having some of the biggest sports legends on our little program. U.S. Olympian, former Boston Bruin player, Mr. Dave Jensen. Hello there, David. Hey, Mike, how are you? Thank you so much for your time, David. You look wonderful. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very well, doing well. Trying to stay busy, stay safe, and uh, be productive. Well, I love that right there. That was completely uh, from the heart, unscripted. I like that. Uh, taking care of yourself. You're so involved with the youth sports. How is hockey doing during this pandemic? Well, you know what? It's, it's actually doing pretty well, Mike. Uh, we just had February school vacation last week, and I was fortunate enough to run some shooting and check-in clinics with the kids, which I love to do. And I also help out with uh, one of the local programs, the Junior Huskies, uh, working with uh, skills and working with one of the teams over there. So it's a great pleasure for me. And uh, luckily, we've only had a two-week shutdown. I think it was uh, it was back in the November time frame. Uh, but we've we've been uh, pretty much uh, active, you know, since uh, September ish. And uh, I'm very fortunate because again, it's what I love to do. And uh, that, along with some other things, have, uh, have kept things uh, you know, pretty, pretty fun for me. Good for you. And obviously, DAJ Hockey is, uh, is a big presence here in New England. You teach the skills about hockey, sportsmanship, and it really is uh, it's infectious uh, uh, for, for everyone and certainly for our youth. Well, it certainly is. And uh, like I said, it's, um, it's not only great for me, but it's... Uh, it's something that uh, really soothes my soul, being able to try to make a positive difference in, uh, in the kids, not just with hockey skills, but, you know, myself and uh, one of my uh, great friends, another Bruins alumni, Glenn Featherstone, works with me and our staff. I mean, it's all about trying to make a positive difference in the kids' lives, and whether it's, you know, with hockey skills or just being better kids and people and, and helping out, this is what it's all about for us. It really is, and uh, uh, an unfortunate uh, situation, an accident happened to a, uh, a Bishop Fian High School player, AJ, uh, with the spinal cord injury, and I myself, you know, we've all been impacted by it, and, um, you know, I met Travis Roy, God bless him, rest in peace, I met him years ago, and uh, just to see what the Bruins did with the raffles and the 50-50 fundraisers, and obviously, David, you're part of the Bruins alumni, you guys just are always fully involved. Well, yeah, you know, the Bruins have stepped up. They always do. And, uh, you know, the Bruins Foundation with Bobby Sweeney, executive director, director, they're second to none when it comes to the community and, and helping families and others. And, you know, when it's one of ours, I think hockey to me is the tightest knit community. And to see that happen is every parents, you know, worst nightmare, brothers, sisters, whatever it might be. Um, you know, spinal cord injuries, and we all hope the best for AJ and for a speedy and, and hopefully a full recovery. But, you know, like hockey, friends, family, we come together, you know, when someone's hurt or someone needs help to support them 100%. I think you've seen that not just with the Bruins, but, you know, youth organizations, other high schools, I think all in New England and beyond have stepped up to help, you know, this family and this kid. And hopefully, like I said, you know, he's, he's in our prayers, and uh, we're hoping for a full and speedy recovery for him. Absolutely, Mr. Jensen. And uh, congratulations on all that you do in the community. Obviously, people can see right there how they can reach out to you. Uh, quick, uh, quick thoughts on the Bruins this year. Well, you know, I like, I like where they're at right now. I think they got a really good team. Um, I don't like the, the few injuries we've gotten on defense the last few, few days, but... You know what? They're a solid team, great coaching, great leadership. We're still a pretty a solid core. I hate seeing Z in a Caps uniform, even though I played for the Caps. He should be here in Boston, in my opinion. But other than that, Mike, love watching him. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, must-see TV. I find myself at night, and sometimes we text back and forth. Um, just it's exciting. It's, it's fun to watch. Mr. Dave Jensen, we so appreciate your time here on the program and people can find out about you. And what I always got a kick out of, David, is, uh, you know, that you were part of, um, part of the diaper line on the, on the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, so that was uh, back in 1984. Um, you know, it's obviously, it's not, uh, not the, the, the line you want to be called when you're a senior in high school, but uh, it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Uh, I played with two, um, Phenomenal hockey players. One was Pat LaFontaine, 
He was a Hall of Famer, and the other is Eddie Olchuk. And I think most people know Eddie from NBC Sports. You know, he does a lot of the um, analyst stuff for, for NBC and just two great guys. And, I mean, what an experience. We followed the 1980 team in 84, and, you know, it was a six-month process for us. And, like I said, it was the greatest experience of my life. The friendships, the, you know, they, they like all hockey, you know, when you're playing a team. They've lasted this day, and those guys are just close friends of mine. And, and uh, looking back now, it's great. You know, the deep line thing back then, maybe not so much. David, always fun. Former Boston Bruin player, <laughs> hockey strong, U.S. Olympian, a winner. Never poked the bear, right, David? That's right, Mikey. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the program, David. Go Bruins. Mr. Dave Jensen My joining pleasure. us here on the program. There's more Late Night New England coming up. <laughs>